Hello, and welcome to Breezy's World. I do apologize, it's been a while since I posted anything. I've been really busy, as most of you know, I am busy with school and work, so. Um, I, plus, I've also been trying to get things going with my true crime channel. Don't forget about the True Crime Lounge, if that's something you're into, and you want to go check it out. I also have an Instagram page for that, which you can find in the descriptions. Uh, <clears throat> all my contact info, all my pages, and all of that. So today, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make this episode something that is easy for that I love to do. Cause <clears throat> we're gonna be talking about if you read the title, packing tips. That's right. Cause. I don't know about y'all, but I'm a planner. I have to plan things out. So, um, I have to have a list when I'm going on a trip or something, and I need a packing list. So, I need to, like, I want my checklist. I want to know what I need to get done. So, with that being said, let's dive into Breezy's Guide to Packing. <clears throat> first one the first thing on our list a checklist now as I said early as I just said I have to have a checklist when I'm packing is like I because I do like to travel and it just makes things so much easier um, and this also gives me like a sense of what I need to get versus what I need to look at and this is gonna be a game saver on you the next thing on our list, pre-packing. So, if you're also like me, I tend to pre-pack. That, for most, and if you don't know what that means, that basically means you pack your, suit, you pack your suitcase or whatever luggage you have. Like, a few weeks ahead of time. Um, I try to do it, like, a, at least a month ahead of time. Because I'm normally, like, six weeks ahead of time. I've been trying to get better at that. But... <laughs> Anyway, but when I pre-pack, this gives me idea what I need to get versus what I have left to get. And what I need, and if I, and it helps me cross things off my list as I'm packing. Again, it goes back to that checklist. Number three, get what you need. After you've done your pre-packing, go through and look at that list. If there's anything you need to get that you don't have at home, this will be your time to go and get it. Number four. Believe it or not, this one, I honestly have never had to use on any of my adult friends. I've used it on me a couple of times, but that's beside the point. But anyway, um, a first aid kit. Yes, I always bring a first aid kit with me whenever I go on a trip. And... So, for some reason, I have had to say, don't burn the condo. Now I have to say when I go on a trip with a group of friends, don't burn the condo down. The friend didn't burn the condo down, but he came close to it, and I had a massive headache that night. So, yeah. You can imagine my... <laughs> you can imagine how I was feeling on that one. Number five, gallon size Ziploc bags. Trust me, this one's personally my favorite because whenever I'm packing, I have to have my toiletry bag, my shampoo, conditioner, etc. Um, if you take that gallon size Ziploc bag, I normally, you can put all three of them in one, but I like taking one and putting them in each just in case a mess gets made. It's so much less messy, so in case it does get spilled open and something like that. It's not a big mess you have to clean up. That's what I love about it. Number six, protection. And I don't mean like, and by protection I mean like tasers. I have this alarm button that I got for Christmas. I have like two tasers. I'm all about self-defense, y'all. I will say that. Um, <clears throat> you can go to Target and get this. It is really cheap. It's fine. It is very fun, and tasers are not that bad. I have one that, um, if someone tries to take it off of me from my wrist, it won't work. Because the, they're going to pull it, but the pin stays on me. Um, 
What's next? Necessary documentation. So I've only traveled in the U.S. I have yet to make my way outside the U.S. I'm working on doing all of that. But, um, what I mean by necessary documentation is like IDs, license, your ID, your license, um, your insurance cards, birth certificate, basically information you will need in case an emergency comes up. Or it's a proof you have to show documentation for something. Alright. I'm going to say cash on this one because, like I said, I live in the United States. So, I never like to spend my cars on a trip if I can help it. I know they're there, but I tend to treat those like they're only there for emergencies and I forget about them. But I always take a certain amount of cash with me whenever I go on a trip because, one... It gives me a budget not to go over, and I most of the time have. Ca and most of the time, I don't hardly spend anything because I want. I like to get the like free stuff too if I can. If I can, so like brochures and stuff like that. I don't mind it. I love it, unless it's something I really want to get. As like, you know what? I may never be back here again, so why not? Um, but I typically try to carry cash with me when I go on a trip. Number nine, prepack. Yes, I say pre, I mean, not repack. I say this because after you prepack, you go through, get everything you need, go through and repack and repack and repack because I'm bound to do that. But if you're like me on that, but go through and repack everything you need to get, you need to do. And if you can, this one's not on here. But that morning when you're going out for your trip, try to have everything by the door so that way all you gotta do is just grab it and go. And the last one on this list, this one is essential. I say this because the, I say this because there's a backstory behind it and why I have it now. Um, bath pads. Oh, and one more thing, dish soap. Cause that's I'll say that this one. But dish bath pads. I am a naturally clumsy person. Anyone who knows me can verify that. Um, but I, if you're getting out, say you go to a hotel or somewhere, and you're just like, you want to take a nice sh bath, not like a, really a shower, or just if you want to take a shower, have a bath pad. Because <laughs> those floors, because they're hard to get, like a lot of times you're going to, if I, you will end up falling, but that bath pad makes it so much easier for you. And it tremendously prevents you from having to go to the hospital, more than likely, while you're on a trip. Now, it's not any fun. And one last thing I want to add to this list that I don't have on here, but, um, but you will find this list, um, on my blog, too, by the way, people. Um, but, make sure you bring hand soap with you. I don't know why, but... Airbnbs, Verbos don't provide you with hand soap. They need to. You can go to the Dollar Tree and get hand soap. It's not that much. I say that, but I love Airbnb and Verbo, so it's like very. But I always now I bring like hand soap with me because they never have it. And we all need to wash our hands. And I like to keep my clean. A lot of time, I've got to wear like when I wash my hands. I'll sing the Golden Girls theme song. <laughs> all right, guys, that is it for today's episode. I will see y'all next time. Also, before I leave here, go and check out my blog. I will post a link in the description. I will see y'all next time.